Hi, Scorpio. We are up to you with the monthly tarot reads for the month of May. Let's see what's happening with Scorpio. you got here is the four of cups in reverse so if you've been in heavy contemplation about something it's over you're not thinking about it anymore you're getting out of your head a little bit the ten of wands in reverse if you were really worried about something it's starting to dissipate you're starting to feel like it's gonna all be okay center of the spread you have the ace of cups which means that you could have a new beginning with love somebody comes in and offers you love the death card is a transformation so this situation here or this love or whatever it is could be somebody new or you could be restarting a, um, it could be a relationship that maybe went a little bit stale and now you're gonna start to breathe life back into it for every Scorpio of course it's gonna be different this could also have to do with the job oh no but the ace of cups is definitely a love related thing the last card you have here is the eight of wands so something transforms and it transforms fast so if things went sour for a little while and you were up worried about it, you're not so worried anymore. New love begins, a transformation of the relationship, and it transforms fast. So, so far, out of all the readings I've done, the Scorpio one so far has been the most positive. Yeah. All right. You're not getting a lot of... Oh. You're not getting enough rest and relaxation, so take care of yourself, Scorpio. The two of pentacles, things come into balance. But just as things come into balance, bam, the ten of swords. Somebody stabs you in the back. God damn it. Just when I thought things were going good. All right. Don't worry, Scorpio. We got it. We got the two of swords, which could be indecision or it could be a decision. It depends on your situation. And Scorpio are not known to be flip-floppy. They usually make a decision and stick to it. So I think for you, this is going to be you making a decision. The strength card. So it's either you've got the strength here or a Leo is going to come in and help you out. And then the final card is the Ace of Pentacles, which could be a new beginning in love or work. So generally speaking, I think that your love relationship is going to transform. It's going to transform quickly. You're not getting enough rest and relaxation. Something had been bothering you and you were contemplating it and... Now you're starting to come out of that, but then somebody goes and stabs you in the back. You make a, deci a decision, and it could be a decision to move forward with your life and not be with this same relationship anymore. And then a Leo shows up, and the Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning with a Leo. Or it could be that you just have the strength to deal with whatever this relationship and this betrayal has thrown you. I don't really feel like Scorpio is one to back down when it comes to somebody who's betrayed them and stabbed them in the back. I think that more so a Scorpio would tell them where to get off and move on with the Leo. But every Scorpio will be different. If you're a Scorpio that's closer to the Libra side, you may be feeling like you want to give it another shot. If you're a Scorpio a little bit more on the Sagittarius side, you may be ready to walk away from it. So it depends on where you are and how much Scorpio you have in your chart. So that's a whole other ball of wax. Once again, this is very general. All right, guys, if you like what we're doing here at the Magic Junk Tour, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.